Y'all, it's Meg. So who's taking up real estate in your favorite Selling Sunset star's heart? With some recent changes in the realtor's love lives, the answers may not be what you think. After all, in March, Chelsea Lascani filed for divorce from husband Jeff Lascani after seven years of marriage. The couple who share son Maddox 5 and daughter Melia 3 cited irreconcilable differences as the cause for their split. According to the court documents obtained by TMZ, Chelsea, who met Jeff on Tinder in 2015, before tying the knot two years later, also requested joint physical and legal custody of their children. And the 31-year-old's divorce isn't the only relationship update to come out of the selling sunset world as of late. Earlier this month, co-star Christine Quinn's husband, Christian Dumonte, was arrested for assault with a deadly weapon stemming from a March 19th domestic dispute. The following day, he was arrested again for showing up to the couple's house despite an emergency protective order against him. In response, response, Christine requested a restraining order against Dumonte in which the 35-year-old accused her estranged husband of throwing a bag containing glass toward her and their two-year-old son, Christian Georges Dumonte. I saw broken glass in our son's hair and on the floor, Christine wrote in the restraining order request. After a few seconds, our son burst into tears and began screaming. I was concerned about his health and safety. Dumonte has since denied the assault accusations in a separate court filing, saying that he didn't throw the bag in their direction, instead threw it to the side of the room against the wall. Their legal dispute is ongoing. What about Jason Oppenheim? Well, Jason was on the market for a while before sparking romance rumors with tennis player Jeannie Bouchard in January 2024, though it's unclear where they stand. The Oppenheim Group owner previously dated real estate agent Chriselle St- house for seven months but they broke up because as she put it our ideas for family were ultimately not aligned he also dated model mary lou nurk for 10 months before their split in may 2023 Chriselle Staus. Chriselle married non-binary musician G Flip in May of 2023. In May of 2022, Instagram video, Chriselle opened up about her relationship with the 27-year-old. I am attracted to masculine energy and I don't really care about what physical form is, she explained. With G, they identify as non-binary. They really feel like they are a mix. They identify as both sides of male and female. I personally find it such a beautiful mix, and it's probably why we connect on such a deep level so quick. What about Brett Oppenheim? Well, Brett sparked romance rumors with tattoo artist Samantha Abdul in 2022 after dating Australian model Tina Louise. Though we caught a glimpse of their relationship in season five, the duo went public with their romance in April 2021, but broke up in December. Sound like a similar timeline to Jason? Definitely has to be a twin thing. Heather Ray Young. Heather Ray married Home and Garden TV's Tariq El Musa on October 23, 2021. The day before the wedding, Tariq, who was previously married to Flip or Flop co-star Christina Hack, wrote on Instagram, If you had asked me four years ago, I would have told you I was never getting married again, and I honestly didn't even think I would find love. Then one day, Heather jumped onto my boat, looked at me, smiled, and the rest is history. Thank God for that day. The two welcomed their first baby baby together in February 2023. Mary Fitzgerald married Roman Bonet in 2019 during season one of Selling Sunset. But while we got to see the two lovebirds tie the knot, Mary's rep confirmed to people that they actually had a civil union a couple of months before the show began filming in June of 2018, but they chose not to tell any of their friends or family as they were still trying to see if their relationship would work out in the long term. She shared in April 2023 that she suffered a septic miscarriage. Emma Hernan. Emma is single and ready to mingle. The real estate agent revealed to today that she is single and dating and open to a relationship, adding that she is open to something moving a little bit more serious. So what happened to selling Sunset property developer Michael McDonald? After being seen flirting it up in season five, Emma says they still talk and have a great relationship, and it's to be determined what happens, she told today. Amanza Smith. Amanza, who has two children with ex 
ex-husband and NFL star Ralph Brown keeps her relationship status on the down low. In April 2022, she revealed that she's been in a secret relationship. That's the one thing that I've been able to keep a secret, so now it's almost like a goal, she said. I'm glad that it's gone this long, and if it comes out, it comes out. But it's almost fun to keep it private. But the following August, Amanda made things Instagram official. Maya Vander has been married to her husband, David Miller, since 2017, and they went on to welcome children Aiden Vander and Ellie Vander. In December 2021, Maya tragically lost her third child during stillbirth at 38 weeks pregnant. In May of 2023, the pair welcomed a baby girl named Emma. What do y'all think about all the couples and their relationships on Selling Sunset? I know this is one of my favorite shows on Netflix as far as reality shows go. What do y'all think? Do y'all watch Selling Sunset? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching y'all.